Hi there, this is Chaz from Chaz's Corner, coming to you from the town of Claremont. Right now the weather outside is kind of nasty, it's, it's raining. And, uh, but there was a couple things that I wanted to go over with you today. Uh, one of them being, even though I'm a Jedi, I love the Boston Red Sox. Red Sox Nation, absolutely. So, and as a Jedi, I also like to drink beer. We can drink beer, believe me. There's not so many things that we're not allowed to do. Well, we're not allowed to be dumbasses. We're not really allowed to be Republicans. Actually, we're not really allowed to be Democrats either. And we're supposed to, our main mission is to serve everyone. And that's a couple of things I wanted to talk to you today. One of the being, people think being a Jedi is being a part of religion. As a matter of fact, nothing can be farther from the truth. Basically, being a Jedi or being part of the Order or in any way, shape, or form, being a part of being a Jedi has nothing to do with religion. There are no commandments. There's none of that crap. And there's absolutely no lack of evidence or facts or anything to try to support being a Jedi. So, prove it. That is be all easy, too easy to do. One, you can see me. My body is made up of molecules, atoms. And as those atoms, they're always in flux. My general body, my central nervous system, works on a chemical neuro interface stimulus reaction control. So basically, I have energy running in and out of my body that, you know, for me to move my hand like this, there is an energy directed through the brain, central nervous system, the transmission goes over to my arm, and then it does this. Another thing is with this a wonderful uh, little piece of technology that I just recently got myself. This right here is what we call is a, a plasma globe. Uh, as you can see here, there's little, you know, little lines of plasma running around. And inside the ball is actually a variety of noble glasses. You know, argon uh, and uh, neon, all that stuff. So, but here, watch this. See that? My hand is creating a circuit where the plasma is heading towards it. And this is basically the force. The force is an energy field created by all living things. It surrounds us, it penetrates us, it binds the galaxy together. Now there's a variety of different uh, ways of looking at the force. One being the living force, what's around your immediate area, people, plants, animals, that's all the living force. Then you have the unifying force, which is a little bit more on a grander scale, planets, universes, galaxies, the, for the unifying force binds all of that together. The sun that you can see in the sky, that's got a whole bunch of chemical reactions and it's generating energy. Have you ever not used a solar panel before? Too easy. So yes, the force is all around us. Sometimes we can see it using the globe. And sometimes we can see it in the form of a lightning bolt out in the way during, during the storm. But then again, there's also a lot of energy around us, radio frequencies, ampule, you know, modulating 
frequencies all over the place. And we can use it to for our benefit. For instance, I hate it when I get a phone call while I'm trying to film. All right, I'm back. Okay, so where was I? Oh, yes. The force. It's an energy field produced by all living things. Even things that we don't think are living, they're still made of atoms. And atoms are never stationary. It's energy. The bottle here, the end, it's the, the glass. It's, it's made out of energy. You can't see it because you don't have the ability to see that close. So, excuse me. So, energy around, surrounds us, penetrates us, binds the galaxy together. Now, it doesn't matter if you believe in the force or not. That's one of the benefits because the force has got a solid grounding in science. <clears throat> in science, we use what they call is the scientific method. Scientific method is you come up with an idea and then either try to prove or disprove that idea using experiments, using, you know, looking for more information. Now, if somebody has a heart attack, What's a, what is a particular type of medical tool that they will use in order to treat a person that's having a heart attack? If you said a heart defibrillator, that would be correct. Now that is, you can see heart defibrillators in a lot of different places. A lot of public places now actually have emergency defibrillators in certain areas to be used by those people that have been trained. Now, what does a, a heart defibrillator do? It actually uses electrical shock to really jumpstart the person's heart. Really? So, we can use the force to our own benefit. And in this particular case, we use the force to bring back somebody back that's really very very sick on the verge of going <clears throat> you know so whether or not you believe it or not it doesn't really matter it's still gonna happen the force is there whether or not you believe it or not now if you're a dumbass fine the force doesn't care if you're a dumbass however as a Jedi we can't be that dumb we have to be constantly getting information and bringing in more information, more information. And the difference between knowledge and wisdom is finding out what's the real truth to, so, to a particular topic versus what is the current trend of what that particular topic is. Before the, the election of, uh, in November of last year, of 2016, Everybody thought uh, Senator Bernie Sanders was a socialist. And because everybody said, said that, the first person were to say it, and then another person said, oh, I believe that, and then continued the, the same thing over and over and over again. But anybody who understands socialism knows that Bernie Sanders is, is not even close to that. Because a socialist government means the public owns everything, owns companies, owns governments, local, state, government. Everybody has got their hands into it. To my knowledge, I don't think anybody owns Microsoft, but Microsoft. So, yeah, when you hear somebody say something, do your research and don't just stop at information that matches up with what you're thinking or your particular opinion you're not getting to the the, the root the deep root of information 
until you start finding bits and pieces that are against your opinion. But I'm not going to further get into this. You know, that's just something as far as the Jedi. The Jedi, we, our main mission, the only reason that we exist, is to be service to everyone. And also, to stand up for what's right. And to make sure that justice is, is taken care of throughout the universe. Or in, more accurately, throughout the multiverse. I'm not going to try to explain the multiverse. Because if you had a problem with socialism, you're going to have a problem with me trying to explain the multiverse. Your head might actually shrink. So, we're not going to do that. So, like I said, the force is all around us. It's energy. See that? Isn't that awesome? And, and when, when you touch it, the plasma, it, it actually gets a little warm. It gets a little warm when you touch it. So when you touch it. This is, like a, this is like a tiny one. And believe it or not, this entire contraption was actually made by Nicholas Tesla. And that's basically what's in the middle. And of course, you get the glass. And then, of course, oh, you get the noble gases inside that allow all this interaction to happen. So, anyways, that's all I have to say today. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to, you know, put them down at the bottom. Be sure to like this video. And go ahead, please subscribe. And, uh, yeah, that's it. And I'm going to say what I'm always going to say. Anyways, thanks for watching. May the force be with you. Be awesome. And always, be safe.